take it real soon. Whoa, whoa, not yet. We still got to maintain that social distancing. But while we're here, back to business, I'm here to show you how I made this lovely Mardi Gras cake. Started out by rolling out some green fondant. I did the same method here with purple and gold. And what I'm doing is I'm starting to cut out the pattern for the design of what I'm going to put down the front of the cake, which is a harlequin design. So I'm going to use this roller to cut out squares. Um, then the squares will be sort of tipped on their sides to form diamonds and then stacked together to make a harlequin design. I calculated that I was going to need about nine of these squares but I always cut out just a few extras just in case I either you know mess one up or uh, decide to do something different with it. <laughs> So this is going to be the middle tier of the cake. I'm going to go ahead and center it here, uh, fill it with buttercream. The flavor of this cake is red velvet. Get it stacked, get a nice coating of buttercream on it uh, for the crumb coat. That'll lock in all the crumbs and then I'll get that into the freezer to chill. freezer chilling getting nice and firm ready to start adding that harlequin design so i'm going to get the little squares that i cut out earlier had a chance to dry and get a little a little bit more firm i'm going to go ahead and add those to the front i'm going to have to cut off the top one just so that it fits i knew it wasn't going to be an exact fit and i was going to have to cut it but that is part of the design or the way that I plan to place it on the cake. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of those on. And they will stick. Uh, the buttercream is cool. Um, starting to condensate just a little bit by being out of the freezer. So they're sticking just fine without having to add any additional water. Once I get all of these on the front of the cake, then right where they meet, every little point at tip, I'm going to add some gold beads. And these are just some gold dragées that I had. I just uh, placed those there with my fingers. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how I make ruffles. I'm going to have a ruffle design going down on each side of the Harlequin design. Just cut out circles, uh, crinkle them together with my fingers, and just place them one on top of the other, just making sure that they're um, touching on the sides. Uh, people do ruffles in different ways. This is just the easiest way for me to do it, and when I roll out the fondant, I roll it out as thin as I can so that it has a nice thin edge on it. And, um, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I've also completed the ruffled effect on the purple and the gold tiers and I'm going to show you what I do to stack. I'll go ahead and draw a circle using a cake board so that I know where to insert my boba tea straws. I press them down inside and cut them to the height of the cake. Then when I go to place my second tier on top, I can see exactly where the circle needs to land. And the same thing for the third tier. The next thing that I'm going to do is take some ribbon and just cover all the raw edges on the bottom of each tier. Um, all I have to do is just cut it to size and just press it on and it will usually stick as long as the cake has been chilled and has a little condensation left there to hold it. So I wrap it around and cut it to size and that's it just to cover those uh, raw edges. Did the same thing for all the other tiers. I also added some white pearls right at the front on the bottom of the Harlequin design just to cover that raw edge. I'm going to make some beads here to uh, drape over the cake for Mardi Gras style. I press those into this silicone uh, mold here and just uh, start by rolling it out in a snake and then just pressing it in uh, to get the beaded design. I uh, do this with the purple and then I go back and finish up and do the same thing with the gold and the green using the same mold. again guys for watching thank you for tuning in and watching me make this beautiful Mardi Gras cake and if you guys are like me you're ready to get back out go to parades and have parties and just enjoy ourselves um, hopefully that'll be soon but again don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned just a few more moments at the end of the video you'll get to meet my auntie my auntie loves Mardi Gras and my auntie loves cake
call this and I see what she make it. Hello? Yes, yeah, it's your auntie. I'm gonna just call and see what you're up to. You make a cake? Yeah, I make a cake every Sunday. Don't get smart. Don't get smart with me. I almost raised you. I mean, I mean, yes, ma'am. Of course, I made a cake. Would you like me to send you a slice over? Oh my goodness! Yes. Yes. Give me a little piece over here. All right. Bye bye. Oh, is there anything else I can? Hello. Do what I wanna. Do what I wanna.